Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for the collective. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. If you would like to check those out, the links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winner is announced. I'm choosing one winner for a four-question text reading. Post a positive affirmation or something that you are grateful for with a green heart in the comment section below to enter to win, okay? Um, I am only open for four-question pre-recorded emergency readings. The link for that is below. All my tarot and oracle decks are back on stock in stock on my website, Raven's Rose Oracle included. Um, Spirit Shield Tarot is currently 60% off on my website. All that link, uh, info is below. Mystery Crystal Boxes are $22. Um, what else? My Tarot Tutorial is also up. If you're looking to start a tarot channel or learn how to read tarot, you can check that out, okay? So, my loves, let's get popping here. So, we've got Meddler and we've got Submissive. Interesting. Okay, Spirit, tell me about the collective, please. So, we've got Shadow and we've got Twin Flame. We've got Compromise. And we've got Ghosted. Under the deck, we've got Transform. And we've got Autumn. Collective, I think that you and your person are either in separation or your relationship is very rocky right now. I think that there's a third party friend or family member. I don't I don't really feel like this third party is romantic or sexual, but that doesn't mean that that's not the case. I just feel that for the majority of the collective that this is a friend or a family member. I think that this is somebody that comes across as very kind, caring, a very like chill energy with this person. But in reality, who they are on the inside is envious and antagonistic. This is someone that may be single. This is someone that doesn't want anyone to have what they don't have. They want to create problems. They want to create chaos. This third party energy is the reason why you and your person are having problems or why you guys remain in separation. This person cannot get your fucking name out of their mouth is the problem, okay? I think that what's happening here is collective. Let me tell you what this conversation is looking like, okay? Let me just let me just explain. And yes, I'm in my pajamas. That's what we do here. Pajamas and drama, baby. Okay? All right. So your person and their friend are talking, okay? And your person is talking about you. You know, man, I miss the collective. You know, I miss this. I miss that, right? And the friend is saying, why would you want to go back to that? Or why would you want to be with the collective? The collective's annoying. The collective is this. The collective is that, right? And your person is saying, well, really, dude, you know, that's not the case. You know, the collective was just pissed off because, you know, I was acting messed up, man. You know, I, I was, I was wrong. Like I was, you know, what can I really expect? All the collective wanted from me was just love and respect and, you know, for me to act right. And, you know, realistically, dude, I, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? So I really can't blame 
I really can't blame the collective for acting crazy or acting bitchy because reality was I was cheating or I was being disrespectful or, uh, you know, I was doing, because we've got shadow here, which is dark night of the soul. You are making me face who I really am and I need time to focus on changing and healing. So what you have here is your twin, okay, is actually telling this third party who again comes off to appear like a really chill, chill person. But on the inside, this is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. You see what I'm saying? Um, this is somebody that always has something bad to say about you collective, right? Um, but your person is actually kind of defending you in a way because they're like, yeah, man, the collective does get a little crazy and shit, but they had a reason for wanting to run me over with their car. You know, they, they had a reason, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They had a reason to want to stab me in the face with a dirty fork. I was acting a fool, you know? I, you know, I was talking to other females. I was talking to other dudes. I was being disrespectful. I did have a wandering eye. I was liking other people's, you know, pictures on social media. Um, I was being lazy and not helping out around the house. You know, I, I, I was doing all these things, you know? So in reality, does the collective have a right to act the way they do? You know, probably, you know, the collective has a point, you know what I'm saying, man? You know? But the friend is like, nah, fuck the collective. You know, nah, the, the collective is crazy. Nah, the collective, you know, you shouldn't have to do that. And and your person is like, what do you mean I shouldn't have to do that? You know, if I'm out to dinner with my man, if I'm out to dinner with my woman, I shouldn't be disrespecting them. Or, you know, I shouldn't have people laughing. Because you see, we got humor here. You know, humor, offended, and seducer. So there may have been an energy here collective where you felt that your person was protecting other people over you. You felt like your person had people laughing at you. Do you understand? Because I mean, let me just make it clear. Okay. Let me just make it clear. Let, let's just talk about this for a second because many people have different opinions about this. So I, I just want to lay it out on the table and let's make it clear. When you're in a relationship, okay. When you're in a relationship, I'm in a relationship with my person. I am on social media. My profile picture is me and my person smiling, you know, doing all the things. We're out, we're about, we're posting all these pictures together, right? And then my person will go ahead and heart another female's uh, picture. Put a little flame emoji under some hot girl's picture. That girl's laughing at me. Okay, that girl's like, yeah, girl, yeah, you got all these pictures up. Yeah, you and your person are in, uh, in, in love. Meanwhile, your person's here trying to freaking catch my eye and catch my attention and wants to sleep with me. That's what that looks like. So there's a lot of people that get like, you know, oh, it's no big deal. It's just a picture on Facebook. It's just a picture on Instagram. No, it's not. It's, it's the fact you got this bitch out here laughing at me. It's a respect issue. And a lot of people that tell you that you're insecure and everything, that's just something that they say to deflect from the fact that they're doing something wrong and to make you feel like you're wrong from feeling that way. But in the end, it has nothing to do with being insecure and it has nothing to do with being jealous. And it has everything to do with you wanting your partner to respect you, your relationship, and to not have people sitting out here laughing at you. If you're out to dinner with your partner and your partner is out there Googling with their eyes popping out of their head, another man and another woman, okay, and you're, you're over here, you got dressed up to the best of your abilities and you want to have like this date night where you and your person focus on each other and, you know, it's supposed to be about you and them and they're sitting there with their eyeballs popping out of their head looking at another man or a woman, it's just disrespectful. That person is laughing at you. That, that man or woman that they are staring at is just like a oh, poor collective. I mean, they're sitting there out to dinner and their man won't stop staring at my tits. They got their eyes on my titties as they're eating their shrimp cocktail. What is the collective doing with such a douche? Or you may find people out there that find it entertaining. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I could take your man if I want to. I could take your chick if I want to. You know, it's, it's a respect thing collective. Do you see what I'm saying? So what's happening here is your twin is saying, no, you know, the collective was really right. You know, the collective, I had people laughing, you know, the collective had every reason to be offended. The collective had every reason to feel hurt or insulted because I was disrespecting them and I was having third party energies laugh at them. Do you understand? 
So I feel like what's happening here, Collective, is your person is coming back around wanting to talk to you and compromise and say, you know what, listen, I know I was wrong. And I think that Collective, here's the way you think, okay? And guys, I'm just giving examples on the different topics, but it could be anything, okay? Here's the way this compromise looks. You're going to tell this person, like, listen, when you're here without me, when you go out without me, I don't give a shit who you look at. If you're out at the store and you see a nice piece of ass, go ahead and look away. But when you're with me, don't do it. Don't do it. If you're on, if we're on social media and me and you are on uh, profile pictures together and we lovey dovey and kissy kissy and everything, don't be on social media embarrassing me. You guys might come to the compromise of, listen, let's just shut down all of our social media. You know, there's going to be compromises here. Now we've got ghosted. So I don't know here if what's going to happen collective, you may know who this friend is. That's very antagonistic. And you may tell your person, listen, if you want to be with me, this friend has to go because they do nothing but cause problems. Something, someone here is getting ghosted. So I don't know if it's third party energies that you, you know, your person is dropping, or if it's this friend that is creating a lot of problems. I can tell you this much though, collective by the fall, by the fall, things are going to change. There's going to be a complete 180 between you and your person. Okay. Complete 180 between you and your person. We're going to go ahead and use Royal Rose Tarot. This is one of my decks that you can find on my website. All right, Spirit, tell me about Meddler, please. Tell me about Meddler, please. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. This third party is telling your person to go and find new love. With submissive here and the five of swords and the five of pentacles, this person comes off as chill, cool, calm, collected, but in reality, they're creating chaos with the five of swords. In reality, they're creating drama. In reality, with the five of pentacles here and the seven of wands, this person's goal was to get you out of the picture. This is someone that didn't want your person... You guys show up as twin flame soul contract. This third party knew that you and your person could be amazing together. And they wanted to come in between that. Okay. They wanted to stop that from happening. So we've got shadow here with the six of cups and the three of cups. So what's happening here is your person is wanting to reconcile with you. And they're going to this friend and they're saying, man, I miss the collective. I got to call the collective. I got to apologize. And when this friend says, nah, man, the collective, the collective is crazy and insecure. And you don't want to deal with that drama. You don't want someone trying to control you, blah, blah, blah. And your person's like, well, really? No. I mean, all the collective is doing is asking for some fucking respect. Okay. R E S P E C T. You know, that's it. That's all the collective is asking for. So for love and respect and for me to protect it. So your person is actually defending you here and stating your case and saying, no, nah, man, like really, you know, the collective is just asking for the most basic things that I should be providing in a connection. I want to go back and I want to fix my relationship. Twin flame and the 10 of wands. Yeah, you're, you have a, tw a twin flame soul tie connection with this person and it's very difficult to stay away from each other. The knight of pentacles and compromise here. Um, there may have, this may have been going on for quite a while. This could be a long overdue apology. If you've been in separation, then you've been in separation for quite some time. Or if you're still in a relationship with this person, things have been really rocky for a while now. But I do feel that with the King of Pentacles here and Ghosted, your person is coming back very serious about being loyal, being dedicated, protecting your connection. Okay. Protecting your connection. Um, tell me about ghosted here. Who's getting ghosted? Who's, who's in order for your person to prove their loyalty to you, someone's got to go seven of pentacles and the seven of cups, seven, seven, seven here, by the way, seven of... and the lover's card. Guys, honestly, I think that when you guys come back together with your person, everybody is being wiped out. Options, friends, you guys are shutting down your social media. And let me tell you something, the most, the most successful relationships are made this way. I don't care what anybody says. 
okay? Uh, you know, you know why people lasted so long back in the day? Because there was no social media. You didn't put your friends before your family. Guys, it's bros before hoes, not bros before your baby mama, not bros before your baby daddy, not bros before your fiance, not bros before your husband or wife, okay? It's bros before hoes. It's bros before people that are insignificant, people that you know are not going to be there tomorrow, people that you're using, people that you're not serious about. But when you get serious and you find that romantic partner, okay, that you want to spend the rest of your life with, the only way a connection survives for 10, 20, 30, 40 years is by making your relationship a priority above everything else, above anyone else, okay? And I think that's what you and your person are doing here. Okay. I do. I think that's what your person is doing. I think that you guys are going to let go collective. You may have friends that constantly talk shit in your ear. They have friends that talk shit in their ear. There's people, all these snakes are being cut out. All these snakes are being cut out. I think that collective, you're sitting here in preemptress energy. I think that you're minding your business. You're holding on to your boundaries. You're staying strong. Uh, we've got Leo energy, Gemini energy, Virgo energy on the board. I think that you're standing your ground and you're staying strong. And I think that right when you lose hope that this is ever going to come back together again, a tower hits and everything changes and there is reconciliation. Okay. Very strong soul tie. I think that you're finally getting to a point where you're thinking that this is it. This person's never going to come back and do right by you. It's not true. It's not over. Strong Scorpio energy. Okay. It's not over a page of swords and the four of swords. The energy of this is, listen, I don't ever want to lose you. I don't want to lose you again. And with the world card, we're going to have to make some changes here because I don't want us to come back together again the way we did in the past. Three of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I, I think that all these outside energies, I think that social media is out the door. I think that friends that talk bad. If your friend talks bad about your partner, it's a problem. I'm just going to make it clear to you, okay? Let me show you what it should look like collective, okay? If my best friend calls me and tells me that their man is a piece of crap, shit, person, blah, 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 what I do is I play devil's advocate, okay? I, I try to advocate for their person so that this way, like, you know, because some, how do I want to put it, okay? It's like, you know, we can be mad at our partner because we're always very self-centered. We're always worried about, you know, how we feel, what we want, us, 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 okay? We never really kind of think about where our person is coming from, okay? We, we don't. We don't think about where our person is coming from. So if you have a friend where you're complaining and you say, well, listen, how do you think he feels? He's tired. He works 60 hours a week. He pays all the bills in your house. He does A, B, C, and D. He does everything. He never gets laid. You're always too tired. You're always this. You're always that. He doesn't go out with his friends. He can't even sit down and have a beer. I mean, he, you know, and so I, I try to advocate for, for the, for the, uh, for their partner so that this way there's a little bit more understanding. There's, it, it, it deflates the situation. Do you see what I'm saying? Versus me amping up and adding more fuel to the fire. It's if you have a friend and you get on the phone and you shit talk with your partner to that friend, I'm telling you right now that person's not a friend. Okay, I'm telling you right now that person's not a friend. If an outside party adds fuel to the fire, that is not a friend. A friend should be saying one of two things. Trying to find the good in the situation and in their partner to deflate the situation. Or number two, Telling their friend, listen, it's either you accept this person as who they are and stop making yourself crazy or you leave. Like if someone's being hit, abused, blah, 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 and you have nothing nice to say about their partner, the only other thing you can say is, listen, you know, do I agree with what they're doing? No, I don't. But at the same time, you are the one who is responsible for your life, your body, and your actions. So by you staying, it doesn't make your partner at fault. It makes you at fault. Do you understand? You're the one choosing to be there. So, you know, if, if there's a partner, if there's a friend or a family member in your life that you call and all you do is shit talk on your partner and all they do is keep adding fuel to the fire, those people got to go. 
Okay, those people have got to go. So collective, that's what I got for you. Okay. All right. Well, I, I do feel this coming back. I do feel a very successful reconciliation. I do see lessons being learned. And I see that you and your person are going to be focused on each other and stop worrying about all these other people. Too many people ship a sink. Ship a sink. What the fuck am I saying right now? Too many people on a ship sink the ship. Do you see what I'm saying? And I don't think that you guys are going to allow your ship to go under. Okay. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Take care.